What's up guys? America Bud here. How are you doing today? I hope you guys are having a great day so far. And even if you aren't, hopefully the rest of your day goes by smoothly from here on. Uh, we've been running a lot of Xavier. If you guys have been with us for the past few days. But uh, sad to say, the Xavier event has ended. He will no longer be spawning. The egg vendors are arcane. Mythic, they're all gone. Say goodbye to the egg event. And on the bright side, we never expected to get one of those again. Space Time Studios, the developers of the game, actually said they wouldn't be bringing it back. But they brought it back. It was on high demand. A lot of people loved the Xavier event. It was different from the first time. This time, Xavier wasn't dropping any arcane eggs. So there wasn't a free-to-play way to get arcane eggs. But at least there was a free-to-play way to get mythic eggs even if we didn't get to loot any during the past few days we only ran 10 minutes a day after all some people i know looted mythic eggs personally i got a few legendary eggs and some other eggs but yeah man shout out to everybody in overpower we're still growing at an alarming rate uh two videos ago we were at 500 or something Last video, we were at like 608 or something like that. Now we're at 616. We keep growing. So, uh, yeah, shout out to everybody at Overpowered. And if you're watching this video, shout out to you too. I really do appreciate the support. What I want to do in today's video, if you guys have noticed the title, is basically show you guys my player versus everyone build. PVE build. I want to show you guys what I put up there and pretty much why I do it. There's a reason be behind all of it. I do plan on making a player versus player. Um, I probably have already made a player versus player uh, stat guide or respect skill guide. Actually going to have to do that over. But yeah, this is for player versus everyone. So this is just for killing monsters. If you're going to be killing other players, you definitely do not want to use the build that I'm about to show you. That would be a big mistake. Check out my um types of AL PVPers video and watch who the noob is. You'll, you'll get what I'm saying if you come with these skills to a player versus player match. <clears throat> Yeah, hopefully you guys did get a lot of eggs during this Xavier event. It ended so abruptly. But on the bright side, the Halloween event is coming up next. That's the next event. It's Halloween. Uh, check out the previous video that I just made. Check out the thumbnail. That's the sneak peek that they released for this upcoming Halloween event. <clears throat> it's a picture of what looks to be like a clown. A clan. Okay, first off, we're gonna put all available stat points. You guessed it. I'm a mage, and uh, some people actually think I put other stat points into strength and dexterity, but we only put it into intellect, intelligence, uh, because we are a mage. And as far as dexterity and strength, we'll just use other ways to get more dexterity and strength for instance a gem called the enchanted eye of Cyrilix grants about an even amount of stats stat points and uh other upgrades enhancements can get you that uh for the for the passives i pretty much max out each one Except for the one that gives you an extra speed bonus. Everyone beside the speed bonus, uh, every other passive, it shows up on your stat screen. So by upgrading any one of these passives, except for the fast one, you're actually changing your stats and making your stats higher. It gives it to intelligence, dexterity, critical, damage. All that, I just max it out. But the speed one, I don't put any towards speed because it's a very small amount of speed. The first skill that I want to use for player versus everyone is the Gale Force, the Gale Wind. 
And the reason that is because that's the first one I like to use when I'm running up on the mob. I like to spin out, get right up on it. That's why you need the radius to hit all of the mobs. I wouldn't use the uh, protective current, the second upgrade, because I don't need to increase my armor for four seconds and necro will cancel that out anyway. I will, I will actually use the speed of wind because you need that increased wind speed and you need that boost. I'm not going to use weighted wind because I don't like to knock down my monsters. I like them to be able to get up, run, and follow me. I might be trying to lure a lot of monsters. I don't want to keep them in place. Second skill I'm going to use for PvE and attack is the fireball. I definitely put this second because as I'm spinning in with the, the wind, the gale wind, I need another AOE skill that's going to kill all these mobs I just hit with my wind. So I'm going to use the radius on the fireball and I'm going to allow them to take burning damage. So I'm going to use the first two upgrades. The third upgrade, the fourth upgrade, I won't use because I'm not worried about knocking them down and I'm not worried about their reduced hit on me. It is player versus everyone after all. It's not that dangerous. The monster the risk isn't that high. The monsters aren't that dangerous. Uh, the third skill would definitely be Lightning Bolt. We only have, you know, we have no more AOE skills. Lightning Bolt is very strong along with Frost Bolt. I'm going to increase the damage and the second upgrade, which will allow multiple lightning strikes to fall if you ever kill a mob by itself just with a Lightning Bolt. Also, we want to increase the damage of lightning strikes. So we're going to do the third upgrade. We're going to leave the fourth upgrade alone. It's a stun upgrade. And like I said, I do not want to stun the mobs. I might want them following me and chasing me. So that's the reason behind the first three skills and the last skill, which is, once again, the only skill that has high amount of damage or is AoE. Those are the only four skills like that. So it's basically a full damage build, full damage mage PvE build. Um, Jagged Ice. Um, we're not going to freeze people in place because that's counter neutral. We don't want to. We want them to be able to follow us and we want to lure them. We could be fighting. PvE and Crag or anywhere. I really hate when my mobs stay behind, but they're not fully killed. Yeah, so pretty much I use them in that same order. The Wind, the Fireball, the Lightning, Frostbolt. I would not use the Heal skill, waste the space on the Heal skill in PvE because you can use Potions. Same with the Arcane Shield. I would definitely use those two skills in player versus player because there are no potions, but not in PvE. I could spam skills. And this Time Shift skill, it actually anchors all of your targets in place, which is also something, like I said, I don't want to do. I want to be able to lure them. I want them to be able to move. And this Curse, this curse skill is actually just quite silly to me um, as far as the masteries go we have 20 skill points left at level 63 uh, I'm gonna max out fireball because now I'm able to target up to five additional targets so that's a lot of mobs I can attack with that fireball when I swing in there with that gale force wind uh, next thing I'm gonna fully upgrade is lightning mastery that's going to increase the damage by 10%, which is a lot when you're doing, you know, 4,000 damage, 3,000 damage, 5,000 damage. It's not that bad. So, yeah, those are pretty much the skills I use to play versus everyone. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Try out the build. Tell me how it goes. Or some of you may be already 
is uh, using this build or have used it in the past. Uh, thanks for watching the video to the end. I do appreciate it. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.